Unexpected adventure this morning. He's very unexpected as always. Uh, excuse me. Hey, you, hi. Uh, Sarah Fawcett, when I went out there, was not uh, bearing weight on her left hind leg. And um, so I took her to Mountain View. Because they, it's Saturday, and I didn't want, I knew that if I waited, and so usually with kittens, um, they will, they will live, like, you know, it happens, it's pretty common that they'll do something, they'll be limping. So the general rule that I go by is if they're bearing, if they, if they aren't bearing weight and they start to bear weight, it's usually fine. Um, but because I didn't really have time because it's a Saturday and mom's just closing and it's so much nicer to go to Mountain View but hello I didn't have to go to the emergency clinic um so I didn't give her I didn't wait to see if she started to bear weight on it um uh if they aren't bearing weight it's more likely to be broken which needs treatment um if they do eventually start to bear weight then which most you know 90 percent of the time they do um then Really, all you do is just give pain meds and, and um, try to get them to rest, which is impossible. But, um, so, she wasn't bearing weight. I only waited a few minutes to see if she would start bearing weight. Um, she was a tiny bit when we got there. Uh, we did take a bunch of x-rays. They looked okay, but um, Dr. Ferguson sent them off to a specialist just to make sure there was one area that um, it would could have been like it just a, a little thing look just like maybe a little fracture but um she she was pretty sure that it it's fine but um just to be on the safe side sent off to a specialist hi oh who is you it's Ouchie. so we should hear back from the specialist probably within an hour and then um if she does need a splint then we'll just go and get a splint put on yes yes splint but um, she's, she's uh, pretty comfortable. She wasn't super reactive. It's probably nothing. Uh, she is on some nice pain meds just so that she's very comfortable. And she's getting around, she's squeezing around quite effectively as a tripod. So um, I think that I'm hoping that it will start feeling better and she'll be bearing weight and it will be like it never happened by tomorrow, right? Just like Toodles. 
that's how it usually happens. Anyway, so, uh, so we did take multiple x-rays, um, and, uh, appreciate that Dr. Ferguson squeezes in, because they're always super, well, they're, they're busy most days, but, um, super busy on Saturdays, and it's, a, it's an early day for them, so, um, it was very nice of her to squeeze us in so that we didn't have to go to the emergency clinic again because we spent so much time there. Um, they need to have a little nap now. So I think most of the kittens, except for maybe, um, kittens that are gray, like this one, have, are, appear to be winding down from their big exciting morning. Hello. You are so cute. Hi, Bray, Bray, Bray. You are so cute. So, um, so, hi, I'm so cool. Oh, are we so sick? So we will just observe and see how she does. And then, um, once, once we get the final verdict from the specialist, um, there's a slight chance we'll have to go back in and get splinted, but hopefully not. So, um, but then we don't need to do that. No. Justin went along for the ride, just for moral support. So he's exhausted. Everyone's exhausted. Who's this? Is it a Chaz or a Hudson? It's a Hudson. Oh, that might be my fault. Hello. Okay. <laughs> I will leave right now. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Oh, that was just the call. The specialist must have uh, decided that we should squint it. So, so here we go, back in. Do you want to take a friend? We can, maybe we'll bring Hudson this time. Or, where's Bill? Oh, oh, look how cute the juniors are. Yay, so cute. No time for photos. Maybe Bray will come. Bray, you can come. All right, so. Uh, well, we'll be back. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. Close this door. All right. To be continued. 